<laughs> Salt <laughs> tissue. <laughs> like, I'm gonna need that. <laughs> so fast. Are we doing this? Yep. Might as well. I mean, we're here. Yeah. Everybody already traveled. <laughs> I thought I had a pretty good life before I met you, but now having a partner that loves me and supports me and goes along with my cockamamie ideas 110% is a level I never thought I would achieve. Hi, Tyson. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you, Alicia. <laughs> Make it legal. Be my wife. To be my wife. I pledge my love. I pledge my love. To you forever. To you forever. As a token of these solemn vows. As a token of these solemn vows. Of marriage. Of marriage. I, Tyson. I, Tyson. Give you Alicia. Give you Alicia. This ring. This ring. I'm a little swollen. <laughs> <laughs> I just like it's, to finish that it's up. It's hot. <laughs> Alicia, repeat after me. I, Alicia. I, Alicia. Take you, Tyson. Take you, Tyson. To be my husband. To be my husband. And pledge my love. And pledge my love. To you forever. To you forever. Ever. <laughs> As a token of these solemn vows. As a token of these solemn vows. Of marriage. Of marriage. I, Alicia. I, Alicia. Give you, Tyson. Give you, Tyson. This ring. This ring. That was. I, listen. Alicia and Tyson, may you have many joys and be the light of each other's days. May all that you are always be in love, and may all that is love always be in you. May you all see and encourage the best in each other. May the challenges that life brings your way and make your marriage grow stronger. May you always be each other's best friend and greatest love. May you ride off into the sunset together in your RV. <laughs> Let your love be stronger than your hate or anger. Learn the wisdom of compromise, for it's better to blend, to bend a little than to break. Believe the best in each other rather than the worst. And remember that true friendship is the basis for any lasting marriage. And so, and in so much as the two of you have agreed to live together in matrimony, and promise your love for each other by these vows, by the virtue of the authority vested in you by the marriage act, I pronounce you, Alicia and Tyson, to be husband and wife. It's too early in the it's evening true. for that. It's true. Here's a big bite, though. <laughs> oh, no. No, that's all right. They're fine. I don't know. <laughs> you can have those fingers, too. You own them now. <laughs> First quarter lifestyle and downsize to 183 square feet. Ooh, that's small. I don't know if I'm gonna fit all I my I think it'll be stuff more spacious there. than you think it is. There's lots of roof lockers. There's space. I like how you waited till after the rings were on to say that. Well, I don't want to give you a reason to say no. <laughs> I'm willing to give it a shot. It's as luxurious as you deserve. So it's a very lovely wedding gift to each other. You deserve it. Thank you, baby. You too. Ready to check it out? That's the one. It's all in. Oh my god. It's even pretty. I 
I hope it's as nice inside as you expect it to be. If you're already in love with the badge, I think you'll really like the interior. Check it out. Oh my god. Oh, the house. Oh. Oh. The uh, power desk for the work from home life. Oh, this. And we can raise it for food prep. Oh my gosh. The panoramic view. The seats are so soft. See, this is also the guest bedroom. Oh. <laughs> and our couch for watching TV. Mm -hmm. I mean, this has to happen. <laughs> good height, good height. Nice. We're not going to lose the hatch off this one. The boudoir. for ourselves? I think we could have did worse. Oh, we think we could have done worse. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. Years All of the research? research has paid off. It has. This is incredible. Look at the team. Mm -hmm. I'm beside myself with emotion. <laughs> Good job, baby. Thank you. Mwah. I'm glad you're happy. Very. <laughs> the 16, the smallest possible unit. That's why I was amazed he wanted to go with the 25 foot. He's like, look, listen, we're gonna live in it. Like, we need to do that. I was like, I mean, you don't have to tell me. I'll get the 30. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe it. Here we go. We got her. We got her. Look at it in the mirror! Sorry. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Very nice. Very exciting. I can't believe it. Next stop, Nova Scotia. Well, not really, but... Pretty close. Next several stops, Nova Scotia. Oh my god. extreme squeaking of being in the cab of the RV. Yeah. And having a swing control means that little bit of wind isn't so bad because you can manage it instead of just bobble heading. Hanging on to the handle. Oh yeah. That too put pressure on the what do you call that up there? The attic. The in-law suite. The in-law suite. prairies. So flat. Not as flat as you thought they would be. No, it really isn't. Just the little hills around. Like, I really thought it was like you'd have just a vantage point for days. It's kind of nice to do this uh, long, slow drive after all the mayhem of the last few months and getting ready for the wedding. Yeah, not too shabby. That's pretty good. I was thinking that the uh, trailer isn't affecting our miles per gallon as much as I thought, but we passed the flag and I realized we have a tailwind, so that's helping us out. Oh, that's good. Pushing oh. us along. 
Speaking of the Airstream, I meant to ask you earlier about that emerald sticker that's on it. What does that mean? Oh, it's just the uh, how environmentally friendly it is, basically, when they manufacture it. There's different ratings for county homes and RVs and travel trailers. So emerald is the highest, which means they have the most recycling and responsible use of material when they're manufacturing, basically. Oh, man. Go us. Mm -hmm. Doing our part. Oh, yeah, it's good to know. <laughs> now there's Saskatchewan in a nutshell. <laughs> the granary. So funny. Silos, grenade, those are huge. So this is our second time doing the drive across. Do you have a favorite province? Quebec. It was pretty nice. Very scenic. It's definitely the most scenic. One of these days, we're going to actually take our time and actually stop and plan places along the way. And we'll learn French first so that we can communicate properly mm -hmm. with the people in the nicest looking province. Mm -hmm. Instead of uh, scattered words, which is what we do now. <laughs> Instead of embarrassing ourselves. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with this part of the planning. My planning was done, wedding was done, this was all yours. Yep. Okay, so walk me through. What are we doing here? So we left Alberta, first stop Regina. Yep. We are 10% of the way now. Okay. And we're stopping in Regina, just past Regina basically. Okay. And then tomorrow we'll get to Thunder Bay. And then the day after that we are going to Pembroke so that we can go through Ottawa. Gotcha. And then home. And then it runs back to home. Yep. Not too shabby. With the nicest province in between Ottawa and New Brunswick. That's right. We do love us some Quebec. It's so nice. Yeah. The food is so good. Uh, I wouldn't know. I know. I've only ever drove through. One day. One day. Now we've got the Airstream. We can travel for days. <laughs> Months. Mm -hmm. A lifetime, my dear. taken and explore a new part of Canada. Lakes it is. Famous last words. <laughs> so when is it going to be my turn to drive? Eventually. Okay, so we're like halfway there of 4,800 kilometers and uh, you haven't let me drive yet like at all. So I can't help but take that a little personally. Drive when it's at home. And there's more familiar places and 
less hilly terrain. All right, all right, all right, all right. What are we doing here? I don't have my foot on the brake. Do I not need to do that? No, I need to. Oh. <laughs> you do with my car. That's just the lawnmower. Oh, that's the push start, yeah. Uh... Okay, but the real question is, how nervous are you right now? Can't even look me in the eye. Okay, you so your mirrors, you know what you're doing? No, not even a little bit. I know I have to take wide turns and slow. And then on the highway, we'll only go like 100 instead of 110. If we make that. Okay, so when you say mirrors, do you know what you're doing? What does that mean? There's like fishing boats, but not like ships like, and stuff. Yeah. They're like boats you would tow with your truck. Yeah. Yeah, just laugh. Just laugh. I'm not laughing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We were discussing what uh, what you would tell me versus what we grew up. Like, I've never seen a dust devil until <laughs> this trip. Are you looking at that thing? I'm just like, what? With some wind? I was like, we're gonna die. <laughs> All I could see was Helen Hunt and uh, Bill Paxton chasing us in our truck. Yeah. Well, That's well. not quite the trip we were having. No. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Well, that's a different kind of way to travel, eh? No kidding. <laughs> Isn't that fun? It's so funny. It makes fun me though. feel good when other vehicles hold up traffic. Oh, we really haven't been in town yet. This would be the first one mm -hmm. since we left Alberta. Oh well. Everybody's got to get inconvenienced once in a while. It's, true. it's super fun we got to see this though. Here goes another one. Yeah. 
Time <laughs> lapse in it. What a crazy system. I know, right? The lack of a uh, fence or any kind of barricade at the edge, I find that amusing as well. Don't get too interested or cool off in a hurry. Hey! <laughs> Have a great Saturday. Is it Saturday, Sunday? What day is it's it? It's Saturday. Right. Just the time warp of travel? I seriously was like, I don't know what day of the week it is. <laughs> Road trip live! Well, let's get that boat out of here. <laughs> I think my favorite part about this drive across is like going from all the things you're familiar with that I'm not, kind of meeting in the middle and then going to where I'm yep. familiar and you're not. Kind of so fun. funny. We are the great Canadian couple. I like to think so. All it took for me to get a little closer, babe. One kiss is all you did to make me fall in love. One heart shot in the dark made you take a big chance and see. One moment I was hoping you would fall for me. Eyes wide open to me. Oh my god, we're so close. <laughs> Home stretch. I mean, not that I don't love coming across the country, but I am really ready to not be in this truck anymore. <laughs> it's really one of the most beautiful signs I feel going into uh, the province. And we know because we've just seen we them all. We saw them all, <laughs> and uh, some of them leave a lot to be desired. Well, I guess we didn't see BC, so we can cut that short. I'm okay with it. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> we saw enough. thousand miles I'd say so. <laughs> it's not generally how many people start their honeymoon I imagine. No I don't think so. Well I am ready to explore, I am ready to get going and I'm kind of ready to see how this small You're really living. excited for tiny living and you're actually excited for seeing how people live in this province. I mean yes and yes. So much to see and people to meet. All right let's rock this. <laughs> Closing in on her, finishing off the first leg of the journey just outside Regina. Oh, we're a little more than a little way out of it. We've got well, four hours. You know what? TV didn't know that, Tyson. We could have been really close. No. The last time we saw Andrew in the break. <laughs> Look at this shot. He just can't resist.